heart attack occurs when an artery that is nourishing and feeding blood to the heart muscle closes off with a blood clot. It closes off generally at an area where there is a cholesterol buildup. Once the artery closes off from blood clot, there is complete cessation of blood flow to part of the heart muscle. The most common symptom is some sort of pressure or tightness in the chest, many times in the center of the chest, but the discomfort that patients experience could be in the neck, the throat area, the back between the shoulder blades, in the left shoulder, left arm, right arm, or right shoulder. Patients may also uh, experience breathlessness. They may sweat or perspire. They may feel lightheaded or dizzy. They may be aware of their heart skipping beats, racing. In women, sometimes the symptoms of heart attack are not the classic symptom of uh, chest tightness or discomfort in the chest. Women may experience just an overwhelming sense of fatigue, breathlessness, and weakness. The risk factors for heart disease need to be recognized and we need to sort of optimize their treatment. The risk factors are cigarette smoking, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, diabetes, and a family history or a familial predisposition to heart disease. If you have any of these five risk factors, it's important to realize that you have a higher potential uh, for having heart disease and to try to modify the risk factors. Uh, I think if you're experiencing discomfort that is getting progressively more severe over a period of several minutes, five minutes, eight minutes, 10 minutes, it's building in intensity, it's associated with a sensation of breathlessness, you feel weak, sweating. I think sweating is an important uh, symptom that if it's associated with the chest discomfort, many times that type of perspiring indicates that it is severe and significant and that you should seek medical attention. A simple term that we have is time is muscle. And the shorter the time that it takes you to identify the problem, restore blood flow, open the clotted off artery, turn the spigot back on so the heart muscle can survive, the less damage there is. The quicker that you treat the patient, the better the outcome. And we like to try to get a patient from the moment they arrive at the hospital door to that we actually open up the blocked artery and insert a scent to stop the heart attack. We like that interval to be less than 90 minutes. Ideally, we'd like it to be less than 60 minutes, but we have very good outcomes in this hospital where the overwhelming majority of patients have a heart attack stopped, treated, and the artery opened within 90 minutes or less.